Hey, Jeff Love here from Alternative Heating and Supplies. This video I'm really kind of excited about because we manufacture our own heat exchangers. They are the Dragon Breath. So we make several different kinds of Dragon Breaths. This is a stainless steel Dragon Breath. It's a pool or spa heat exchanger. We also make a water to air heat exchanger and we also manufacture the plate exchangers. Now the reason I've done this, we've decided to do this here at Alternative is we were tired of getting the manufacturers changing their specifications on the heat exchangers. So, and also the thickness of the steel, uh, stainless steel or the, um, the titanium or the Cooper nickel keeps changing and in our application, the water is very hard on these heat exchangers. So we wanted high quality stainless steel and uh, every product, a part about our heat exchangers had to be high quality. So I increased the, the thicknesses, uh, thicknesses of our stainless steel in our exchangers. And it does hurt our uh, heat exchange a little bit, but I'm willing to sacrifice that a little bit to get a longer life. And most of us who have been burning for a while, we're changing those plate exchangers on our domestic hot water heaters, you know, five to 10 years, ours will last much longer. So anyway, so I'm gonna be talking about the different kinds of uh, tube and shell heat exchangers for spa and pool heating. So this is our Dragon Breath stainless steel. This exchanger is about 40% heavier than what I see on eBay and Amazon that are less expensive than ours. And I just want that to point that out. And that's the reason I was telling everybody is that we wanted higher quality, thicker stainless steel. And our exchangers, because I bought one, is about 40% heavier. So our exchangers are very high quality, very well made. So this one is probably the smallest one we have. And this one is gonna be used to hook up a pool or a spa, a very small pool um, or a spa. So the boiler will come in, uh, hot water will come in and go out and the spa water will come in and out in this heat exchanger. The, you wanted the bigger ports because you have the higher flow rates in the spa compared to the boiler, wood boiler. Now this is an 100. Now this is my 640 stainless steel. I'm gonna try to pick this up without hurting my back here. This probably weighs about 35, 40 pounds. This is a 640,000 BTU uh, stainless steel heat exchanger. It is, um, it is for, for a very large pool. And the wood boilers that you use today, the traditional boilers, um, the larger units can keep up with about 640 for a short period of time. So you don't want to get an exchanger that is too big for your boiler, because if it outperforms your boiler in its ability to, on its output, it can pull your boiler temperature down quite rapidly. So don't oversize the heat exchanger just because you want to heat a pool or something faster. You've got to keep it similar to what that wood boilers capacity is capable of doing. So for example, if you have a 250,000 BTU wood boiler, you don't want to get anything larger than a 250,000 BTU heat exchanger because you'll drag it down. It'll be too much power for that boiler to keep up and the boiler temperature will drop. Now, we also carry a couple different brands. Now, depending on what kind of pool you have. So a chlorination pool is fine to use a stainless steel. But some of these salt water pools are a little bit too hard on the stainless steel. Even though these are super high quality, the, 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 the salt will chew through these heat exchangers. So in that aspect, we recommend, and this is a Bowman. It's a Bowman heat exchanger and also tube and shell design. It's one of the highest quality heat exchangers I've ever seen on the market. And uh, this is a Cupro nickel and we also sell a titanium version of it. And those are both outstanding for pool salt water applications or any kind of spa with a, a salt water application. Now, again, the other thing about a spa, you don't have much room underneath them. So you're obviously gonna try to find a heat exchanger that you can fit underneath it and, and get it to work. You don't have much room to work in those spas. So I hope this helps um, and Try out the Dragon Breath, super high quality, and I think you'll be very happy with it. Thank you and appreciate your time.